हेलो एवरी वन आई एम रोहित बाग वेलकम टू अवर चैनल चौक टॉक अवर टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सर्कल ड्रॉइंग अलगोरिदम्स स्पेसिफिकली देर आर थ्री अलगोरिदम्स फॉर सर्कल ड्रॉइंग फर्स्ट वन इज डी डी ए सर्कल ड्रॉइंग अलगोरिदम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज वेक्टर जनरेशन सेकेंड वन इज ब्रिजन एम सर्कल ड्रॉइंग अलगोरिदम एंड थर्ड अप्रोच इज मिड पॉइंट सर्कल ड्रॉइंग अलगोरिदम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डी डी ए सर्कल ड्रॉइंग अलगोरिदम डी डी ए स्टैंड फॉर डिजिटल डिफरेंशियल एनालाइजर एज सर्कल इज अमेट्रिक फिगर दिस अलगोरिदम गिवज यू द एंटायर सर्कल वेर एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रिजन एम्स इट गिवज ओनली वन एट पोर्शन ऑफ द सर्कल नो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सर्कल एज अमेट्रिक फिगर वी हैव टू स्टार्ट सम मैथमेटिक्स रिलेटेड टू द इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्कल एंड द पर्टिक्युलर टर्म्स दैट वी विल बी कंसिडरिंग फॉर इंक्रीमेंटल फैक्टर those mathematics will be utilized in the actual algorithmic step first we will work on the mathematics behind this and then we will go to the actual algorithm step by step so the equation of the circle consideration will be x square plus y square is equals to r square and considering this equation we will be differentiating it and we get 2x dx plus 2y dy is equals to 0 where my r which is a radius of the circle is constant so having some simplification to this we got x dx plus y dy is equals to 0 and then according to that we got this equation dy upon dx is equals to minus x upon y just by substituting left hand side term to the right hand side term so minus x upon y will give me the idea that the incremental factor in terms of dx will be my epsilon y and incremental factor in terms of del y will be my minus epsilon x so this minus sign comes from this equation so i hope you have understood why the minus is there now when i talk about the epsilon y and epsilon x you might be thinking what is epsilon so epsilon is nothing but the incremental factor which will help us from moving one pixel to another pixel and this incremental factor needs to be calculated now to calculate this incremental factor epsilon we have the formula that epsilon is equals to 2 raised to minus n and this 2 raised to minus n that we have to assume with the help of value of r With the help of this equation, two raised to minus n, uh, two raised to n minus one, less than equals to r. R is nothing but the radius, and less than equals to two raised to n. So you have to set in such a manner, depending upon the value of r, you will be calculating the value of n, and with the value of n, you will be calculating the value of epsilon. For example, if my r value is 50, which is coming from the user, where my radius is 50. and if i substitute this value in this particular equation i will be getting the value of n is equals to 6 so by default my epsilon will be 2 raised to minus 6 and what will be the solution for this 2 raised to minus 6 that is my incremental factor and i am utilizing it i hope you understood this epsilon now moving to the incremental steps the equation of x of n plus 1 means current pixel plus new pixel will be old pixel plus epsilon that is incremental factor multiplied with y of n and for y of n plus 1 it will be y of n minus epsilon x n so this epsilon value calculation will be utilized here and according to that you will get the new equations but with this equations the problem is if i substitute the values of x and y n or epsilon to this this equation will not give me circle it will actually give me a spiral type of diagram so instead of going to the spiral type of diagram we are expecting output as a circle so we have to make a little modification into it in the second equation of y of n plus 1 y n minus epsilon x n instead of taking x n you modify it to x of n plus 1 so this updated value of x of n plus 1 should be substituted here and now these are my final equations that i will be utilizing in the algorithm now moving towards the algorithm step by step the first step of the algorithm is you have to read the radius r of the circle from the user and depending upon the r i have explained how you have to calculate the value of epsilon so now after first step you will be having the value of r as well as you will be having the value of epsilon now in the second step i am just initializing the value of start of x that is my variable name which is equals to 0 and start of y is, is which is equals to r now when i say 0 and r is initialized this particular point will be lying on y axis for example in the plane of x and y axis my 0 r point will lie here because x is 0 and y is r and r is coming from the user now i am just substituting the same variables to the new variables that is x1 and y1 so x1 is my now start of x and y1 is my now start of y so this point is nothing but x1 comma y1 
Now I have to start the circle drawing from this point and then I have to complete the incremental steps again and again. So again loop will be come into the picture. So for this entire loop I will be utilizing the incremental equations that I have already calculated. So x2 is the new point which is calculated with the help of x1 the original point plus incremental factor multiplied by y1 and y2 is equals to y1 minus incremental factor x2. This is the updation what we have discussed. So with the help of these two equations I will be getting new coordinates point x2 and y2 and I am plotting those points. Now the problem is as my point starts from 0 comma r I have to add some offset value to it so that my center should be shifted to the center position of the screen. So you can add some offset value here. So this equation or this particular statement can be like this x2 plus 100 comma y2 plus 100. So this will give me the addition of 100 100 pixels in both the coordinate values of x and y. And then again I am reassigning these variables to x1 and y1 so that in the loop I will be able to calculate the new values of x and y till I am considering this condition y1 minus start of y less than epsilon or start of x minus x1 greater than epsilon. Till this point we have to check the incremental factor is checking whether it is less than that particular value or it is greater than that particular value and my entire loop will be executed and the final output will be like this the entire circle will be drawn and then you can stop the logarithmic steps. So I hope you have understood all the concepts related to the DDA circle drawing algorithm. If you have any doubt just put it in the comment section. Keep learning and don't forget to subscribe. Chalk talk. Thank you.